Uh, obviously disappointing. Uh, disappointed with our start. Um, you know, I don't know a coach in the country that loves senior day. It's with girls. It's just way too emotional. Uh, and he, you can make light of it and try to see how it works, or you can ignore it and see how it works out. I've not yet been able to figure that out. Um, and, but uh, on, a, on a high note, I'm happy that we won that fourth quarter. Tennessee, in my opinion, is the most talented team in the SEC. Um, I know their record doesn't show it, but that has nothing to do with who they are. All right, they're a team full of all Americans um, that um, that play at a high level, as you can see. Once they started getting rolling, I mean, they were almost unguardable. But uh, we fought, and uh, hopefully, we could take that type of fight that we had in the third and fourth quarter into our game versus Florida on Wednesday. That first eight minutes, it was kind of. They jumped out and y'all caught up. Yeah. Had a three-point lead. But what did you see? Mm -hmm. you know, they said it was kind of the defense. But from your perspective, what did you see when they made that? I, I just I don't I don't to be honest with you I don't think we played well from the beginning of the game. Like it did not feel good to me from the beginning. It felt like it was a fight even when we had the lead. We didn't have the same gusto. We didn't move with the level we needed to move with the intensity we needed to play with. There was nothing there. Um, and so I was hoping we could just keep fighting um, and try to help have it unravel uh, and get past that little storm because of the emotions. I was chalking it up to the emotions. I mean, we had girls crying before the game. I mean, it was crazy. So, uh, but we, we never recovered. Uh, and so I, I don't want to take anything away from them, okay? Like I said, they had the number one recruiting class for the past three years. It's not like they got a bunch of scrubs over there. Uh, but so I'm sure they did some stuff that helped them. But uh, I'm, but I thought that when they did jump into the press, they got a couple turnovers, and everything that was going wrong for us just really surfaced <clears throat> right then and there. When you take a look at just how the season's gone yeah. after senior night and all this, is there something in your head that sticks out of what you were impressed by, what you were surprised yeah. by? Yeah, that's a great question. I hadn't really had a chance to sit back and just think about everything as far as this this um, this year has gone because we're not done. And I think I know myself, like if I start to reminisce and I'll just, I don't want to cheat these th these young women. But uh, just to think on, on top, so I'm sure I have something deeper to say later, right? But since you asked Nick, <laughs> Nick on, on top, just off the top of my head, um, I just thought that we were resilient and we showed grit. I mean, there are times we've got embarrassed and then we came back and won. Um, there, I mean, there are times where, where, where no one thought we would win and then we go on the road to Kentucky and we be the ranked team. Um, everybody probably thought we'd lose by 100 to Mississippi State. It was a game. So here, um, especially after playing them the first time. And usually when we play a team a second time, we're even better. So I'm just trying to lean on that right now. Going to give the girls an opportunity to rest, and we'll get back to the drawing board and be ready to give them all we got. Crystal coach was talking about the emotion of today. What was today like for you? You put up 30 points, obviously, in, in senior night. Um, well, I'm not going to lie. I was, I was a little sad, but I tried not to show it, you know, and just for my own sake, you know what I mean? Like I, I, after the game, then that's when I relieved all my emotions as far as crying and all that. But I had to get focused. Like I knew, you know, it's senior night or whatever, but I couldn't, in my mind, I couldn't get distracted. Like I knew that we had to come out and I knew that we had to come out to win. We had to come out to play in order to win. So, you know, emotions, emotions is all gathered up in my mind, but I couldn't let it out until after the game because I knew we had a job to do and that was the main thing on my mind to be honest. 30 points obviously you matched up well with them and your office and everybody. What, did, what were you seeing out there that would make you able to get to the basket and score the goals you were? Well, to be honest, um, in transition, most teams get caught up um, in celebrating after they score. So instead of us, you know, getting sad or getting our, hanging our heads whenever a team score, I'm just like, get it out, get it out quick. And then the moment we get down quick, by the time they turn their back, I'm already at the basket. So 
that's I just had to take advantage of that, and I just realized that that's what they're gonna give me, and then that's what I'm gonna take. Sixteen to nine from Gabby today. Yeah. Hey, you talk about someone who's excited. That's me, uh, because she's a freshman, and so we definitely can build <clears throat> on that from for the future and. You know, it's tough. Our freshmen have been playing a lot of minutes, <laughs> um, a lot. And so uh, I was proud of Crystal because she stayed she stayed in it and, and didn't break. And I thought that she played her heart out. I mean, she only played but two minutes. Um, and I, th I felt like Gabby and the other young pups wanted to give what their all for her, so. Yeah, I mean, like I told them two days ago uh, that I, I, my loyalty, the reason why I stand up and coach whether we're down 30 or we're up three is because it's my loyalty to them. My, the only way that I can show gratitude and appreciation for them coming and giving me a chance. You know, I had three players when I came. And so we were able to form a team, and I couldn't do it without them. So that's why I give them everything that I have and, uh, and so that uh, they can have a good experience. And I know we didn't win a lot of games, but I'm confident that they feel like they had a positive experience here for this short time. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. You.